गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू दाइल ब्रिज सो दिस टाइम आई एम हेयर एट रामतमपुर सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट डे फर्स्ट सफारी इन रामतमपुर एंड राइट एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ इट वी आर फॉलोइंग अलार्म कॉल फ्रॉम द चीतल दॉटेड डेयर सो दिस टाइम इन द ग्रुप देर आर ट्वेल्थ पार्टिसिपेंट्स सो काइंड ऑफ organized chaos but uh, four people in a gypsy boss is here with me and so is shonata so and my brother uh so this is the first safari uh, in zone 6 uh we're hoping we will get something in the first hour only let's see we're following some calls we're checking out the hot spots the tigers come and go uh so let's see we'll wait here some time ye kaun si jagah hai damdama this is the damdama and we'll wait here some time let's see if there is any movement or activity is there hopefully So this is a tiger pug mark right there. I'll just zoom in. So you can see the tiger pug mark. This is a female tigress. And on this side is a pug mark of sloth bear. Now this is the Indian gazelle, commonly known as the chinkara. This is an antelope which is found along the plains of India. Now in other national parks It is a rare sight, but here at Ramthambor, we saw it quite a few times. Uh, so it's almost two and a half hours into the morning safari, and till now, no sign of the tiger. We've seen pug marks here and there, calls here and there, uh, alarm calls, but uh, no sign of the tiger till now. So we'll explore other places. We'll roam around the jungle some more, uh, hoping to get a tiger. We saw the chinkara, the antelope, Indian antelope. Uh, so yeah, that was a good sighting, and good light. So apart from that, nothing else. Activity is also very less, it seems, in the jungle. Let's see uh, what is there. And now one thing i forgot to mention is uh, what i'm wearing is is going to be the official march of the wild bits so from the eyes in red list i have identified the 10 top most endangered animals uh, with the least number of specimens so today what i'm wearing is the porpoise the south californian porpoise also known as the vaquita so only 40 specimens of this uh, marine animal is remaining marine mammal so you can just drop me a email or dm on instagram if you want this much uh so let's see we'll explore some more we have yet another 2 hours to go we'll explore some more inside the jungle and uh, let's see if we can sight it so this is the crested bunting which is also abundant inside Rantambur National Park. So, uh, I'm back inside the jungle for the afternoon safari. Uh the morning safari ended on a pretty bad note with no sightings of the tiger. but uh, we are hoping as the heat rises it's unbelievable the heat is unbelievable it's almost 40 degrees i think 44 40, 44 degrees so we are hoping that the tiger comes out in this heat and we get some shots so we are waiting at a place under the shade so under the trees it's almost like 5 to 8 degrees cooler than 
rays in the sun. So we are waiting under the trees. At a place. ये जगह का क्या नाम है? ये क्या जगह है? ये कुएं वाली कुएं है तारा। Uh -huh. So it, it, this is an artificial water hole just behind me. So waiting at this place. Uh, if something shows up, let's see. Let's hope for the best. Now this is the Northern Plains Grey Langur, the commonest animal in every Indian jungle. But even then I photographed, I took a video of the mother and cub since made for a very very interesting frame. hours into the safari and we are yet to open with any kind of sighting we have come here at a meeting place where there are toilets and all so we chose zone 6 for the evening safari as well but rest of our team is at zones 2 or 3 I think so we chose zone 6 because it had been uh, there had been quite some great sightings for the last one month one and a half month so we're trying out so the morning safari was dry but uh, we're hoping that the evening safari shows us something because the slowly and slowly the uh, sun is also going down so let's see if we can sight something it's 435 and till now nothing is there so yeah i'll vlog again if if i said something so the time for our safari it's almost 5 30 and the safari is still dry 6 6 15 till now it's dry so the time is coming to an end and we're waiting at a place uh, on top of a cliff kind of a thing so we are hoping the weather is cooling down slowly the sun is under the clouds so we are hoping that uh, might a tigress might show up but till now it has been dry both the morning and the evening safari till now so let's hope another half an hour 45 minutes remaining at the most for the safari to end hoping for the best So finally, at least we were able to see two tigers. Uh, the cubs, almost 15, 16 months old. Uh, they are subadults, almost red cleaved their mother. Just sitting right in front of me. But they are very far, very, very, very far. Not very good images could be made so our guide says that they might come into the road the road is already 300 meters from here 
three four three four hundred meters from here. So they might come onto the road. Uh, but, uh, let's see. If if he can get closer to them or whatever, I don't know. They're sitting. They're enjoying the after the after the afternoon siesta. They're just enjoying the breeze. So let's see. Let's see if they come into the road and look again. So it's almost 9 p.m. and we are getting ready again to leave the hotel and venture in near the jungle so we'll obviously we are not permitted to go inside the jungle we can only go uh, in the buffer zones or in the villages that surrounds the jungle. so basically we are going uh, to look for uh, spotted hyenas uh, striped hyenas uh, which come during the night to a village uh, there's a spot for them uh, in a village uh, to feast on the remains of the villagers meals and all those uh, like remains of chicken and fish and all those things so remains from the villagers kitchen basically so that's a feast for them and we'll look for uh, them uh, vigorously so let's see if we can spot some hyenas we have a, a innate desire uh, all the members of our team, a team we have a desire to photograph hyenas and those are quite uh, abundant in Ranthambore. This uh, belt, I mean, uh, right from Gujarat, Bela Veda, Black Buck National Park, and till Ranthambore. So let's see if you can sign anything. I'll not take this camera, uh, the G7X, with me. Uh, I would shoot some video on my uh, DSLR if, if we can spot anything. Uh, or else uh, I'll come back and end the vlog. So, see you in a moment. So after quite a bit of searching, we finally were able to spot the striped hyena. Now the striped hyena is a species of hyena which is native to South and East Africa, the Middle East. Uh, Central Asia and the Indian subcontinent. Now, this is not a very common sight, and uh, even in the belt that I mentioned, right from Gujarat and Rajasthan, this is quite rare to find. Now, this was also a target species and a very good reason to visit Ranthambore. Uh, so, all of us, the whole team, we were quite excited to spot and uh, be able to photograph this species. So I have returned from the night safari and uh, it was highly successful I would like to say. Uh, definitely go for a night safari in Ranthapur if you visit uh, and uh, the guide with us or the our, our naturalist was uh, the, none other than the famous Hemraj Meena who is said to be the one of the best uh, trackers and naturalists of Aranthambur. So he was with us and uh, evidently we saw a striped hyena. So first when we went there we saw jungle cat as we saw in the videos in the last segment. Uh, we saw a jungle cat uh, and then a striped hyena so you must have uh, so the videos are first of a striped hyena the first jungle cat that we saw ran off pretty quickly and the second one also ran off pretty quickly so I couldn't take a uh, video as such so you must have seen the video of the striped hyena and uh, we I managed to get some good photographs of the jungle cat as well we also kind of heard a fox Bengal fox but uh, we were not able see the fox now low light photography is very quite uh, challenging so you must always uh, boost your ISO and then uh, try to keep the shutter speed at a level which will not uh, be uh, shaking your hands as such so uh, that is one of the tricks of uh, low light photography also you should keep uh, always keep uh, flashlight with you any kind of flashlight if, if it is a yellow uh, 
colored flashlight that would be the best so you should keep a flashlight with you uh, to actually flash the animals uh, so you can photograph uh, so yeah the night safari was highly successful let's hope the morning safari tomorrow is as successful as today but yeah this uh, almost brings me to the end of day one at Rampur. so I would end the vlog now uh, so give it this video a thumbs up if you like this video and want to encourage me to make similar videos also don't forget to subscribe to this channel now all the photographs and the videos I take would be uploaded on my Instagram Facebook Google Plus and other social media handles so keep following them all the links to the my social media handles will be in the description box down below uh, don't forget to follow me on uh, Facebook Instagram and Twitter so that's it for this video this is Upamanyu signing off. Thank you.